Okay, so the first thing we're going to do in this video is actually get that um, the uh, the images working per the plan that I came up with in the previous lesson, and then we're going to turn our attention to getting the uh, the um, uh, the actual GPS coordinates for our uh, device, whether we're running on desktop or more likely scenario of running on the um, running on a phone or a smaller device. Okay, so to begin with, what I'm going to do is actually just copy this folder of weather assets. You can see that I have essentially a copy. I've, I've used the names, the exact names that they used on, um, uh, on their icon list. And I just have a graphic designer I know create some cute weather icons uh, so that, again, they're royalty free. And now I can use these uh, in my app. So I'm just going to drag the weather folder up. Had that same issue we had last time, that pesky issue. So let's go ahead and just select everything. Drag and drop. It's going to say, hey, it's already there. Yes. Copy it. Okay, great. So now all I need to do is I need to... Um, Instead of pulling these icons from Open Weather Map, uh, instead what I'm going to do is just change this URL. Just get rid of that. And whenever you're going to access local resources and you need a URI, you use the prefix ms-appx colon and then three forward slashes like so. Okay, so that will say, hey, uh, look in the assets folder look in the weather subfolder and look for that uh, that three uh, alphanumeric character name for the file and if I named everything correctly and I think I did then um, we should see different icons used so let's go and run the application again and let's go ahead and hey hey how cool is that? All right, so that was the easy part. Uh, let's move on, and now let's talk about utilizing the location um, capability of the device that we're working with. So in order to utilize some sensor or some hardware feature of uh, the platform you're running on, you have to declare a capability. And you do that in the package.apex manifest. So let's open it up and let's go to capabilities and say, I want the location capability. And you'll notice how this manifests itself the very first time that we run the application here locally on this uh, on my desktop but then also the first time that we actually try to run it in a phone emulator the message that we'll get it'll have to be approved by the end user before we can actually use um, actually use it now there's a lot to using this uh, the, the features that I'm going to show you right now however what I recommend is that you actually search for this article I didn't create a shortcut but just search for um, Windows 10 get current location all right you should come to this page in the Windows Dev Center uh, and this will give you code that you can use to check the current status and whether you're going to be allowed to actually utilize that capability and if not it'll report back that you cannot use it so there's a lot of extra code in here that is really um, a safety net for your application you can also respond to updates so while the phone uh, while you currently have it and you're running and uh, you're on the move you're driving uh, you may want uh, the location to be updated in real time and in which case you can implement all this additional code to make that happen we're gonna take the simplest possible scenario and so some of what I what I'm gonna write here in a moment is just taking from kind of this right here <laughs> and ignoring a lot of the complexity uh, that that would be needed for a more full-featured application 
So uh, to make this work, what I'm going to do is actually add another class called the um, the Location Manager. And it's going to abstract away a lot of the complexity of working with uh, the GPS or the location features of, uh, of Windows 10. So I'm going to call this Location Manager. And we give this a public class. And we're going to go ahead and create a public. Um, static, uh, let's call it void for the moment, but I know I'm going to return something in a moment called get uh, get position position. Great. And what I'm going to do is um, okay. And so uh, what we're going to do, and let me get rid of the webcam here so you can see the whole screen. Let me move this over. So we're going to use some heavy duty coding here. Okay. What we need to work with is something called the geolocator. It's going to give us everything we need. Now, unfortunately, as you can see, geolocator is not found. I'm going to hit control period in order to add a using statement to Windows Devices geolocation. Great. And there's a method called get or actually request access async and what this will just do is say hey can I get access to the geolocator will it give me a latitude a longitude if I actually ask for it so it's gonna return back to me a, um, a status so we're gonna call this access status equals and we see the async keyword and so I know we're gonna have to add the await there and I know that I'm gonna have to add the async keyword here and I know that I'm gonna to have to return something here currently it's void um, we'll come back to that in just a moment alright so the only status that I'm really concerned about is um, there's a geolocation status geolocations access status dot allowed if it's denied or unspecified then that means we're not gonna have any luck so if uh, the access status is not equal to allowed then I'm gonna throw a new exception I probably should take more care here and and create a custom exception and be able to pass back what the issue is but I'm just gonna go ahead and and croak uh, just have the application die again that's something I need to come back and make a little more elegant and test that in the future but assuming that everything is okay then we're gonna continue on here and uh, I'm gonna get uh, an access to an instance of the geolocator so let's just go geolocator equals new geolocator and um, uh, I'm going to use uh, the object initializer syntax to set the desired accuracy in meters I'm just gonna set it to zero meaning hey give me what you can uh, I could specify and say hey I'd prefer if it was one meter accuracy 10 meters 100 meters but this will just uh, set it to um, the default value which is give me whatever you can give me okay now uh, that I have all that work done, I'm going to get a position and I'm going to say geolocator get the geoposition async um, and then I'm going to uh, return that position. Now the position object will be of type um, geoposition. So there's a geoposition object. Let's go ahead and get rid of void and what I need to do is to return a, uh, a task which is a promise that in the future I promise to give you a geoposition uh, it doesn't seem to like that but I think uh, let's see oh right it doesn't like it because I forgot the away keyword there we go Right. So that should be all we need to do to get uh, the current position. Once we have that position, so let's go um, let's go uh, var position equals, and we'll call the location manager location manager dot get position. And I know that this too is awaitable. 
So we'll hit await. And now that we have that, we should be able to do something like this. In the get weather, let's go um, position dot coordinate dot latitude and then uh, position dot coordinate dot longitude. Now it's giving me some green squigglies. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh, it's obsolete. Yeah, I ran into this before. Um, the issue here is that they thought that it might be unavailable after Windows 8.1, but I was unable to find what they're replacing it with in 10. Uh, I didn't see anything. In fact, I found this code, this very code, in the Windows 10 documentation. So it might be something they just haven't gotten to quite yet. You might have a completely different experience. Just be aware that uh, what the direction I'm leading you here, this could be obsoleted in the future, and you may have to change that line of code. Okay, but for now, this is what we got. All right, so now let's just set a breakpoint here because I want to see it actually get to this spot. Now notice when I click the get weather button, I asked for access to the location feature of my local computer. And it says, do you want it to access your location? Uh, and I can go to the settings app if I want to modify it later, but for now I'm going to say yes. So now that I've given it access, it's going to go ahead and try to figure out what the position is. I'm going to hover my mouse cursor over, it looks like I'm 32.98 and longitude negative 96, so that looks good. And let's go ahead and run it. Dallas County, 78, light rain, very good. Okay, so we're in good shape there. What I wanna do is um, stop the video right here and I wanna come back to this because I wanna test this on the phone in the phone emulator and change my position around the country and see what it would look like if I was running this from Seattle or from New York or from Chicago. And so I can really test that functionality out and the phone emulator has a great feature that allows us to do that. So we'll look at that in the very next video, okay? We'll see you there, thanks.